Now, adding a music folder is quite easy. Now, a folder is very similar to a profile, but the profiles you can actually share with other people. Like here, if I edit, you can see I can click here and it says import or back up all your profiles. You can import, or I could right click this and copy to another deck. So the profiles are much more easily transportable than say folders, but folders are good as well. So I'm going to drag in a folder and call it music. Now, one advantage here is that with the music folder, I automatically get a backspace button. So watch what happens when I click this button here. See, it already has a backspace button. So I don't, I, I could include the word home on it. There's no title there. Let's just say return. And that's it. So I've got a return button. I can click on. But with the profiles, you have to kind of add that on yourself. So here in the music, I'm going to click in the music and simply drag in. This is my Teffle Dude intro. I'm just going to drag this in here. And automatically, it's copied the name. I can play stop, I can say fade out or fade in, and I'm just going to simply click the button now. And as I click it, it fades out. So you can add as much music as you want. I add a load because I always have these ideas when I'm teaching to be almost like a DJ. These days, you might as well. So that's adding music to your Elgato. By the way, there is another software company that I think you pay 12 euros and you get a whole bundle of sounds like drum kits and pts and kitching, all those kind of noises just to make life a bit more fun. Oh, and a voice changer as well. So, but it's up to you if you want to pay for that.